Hey there, thanks for watching. I would like to uh, demonstrate for you how to properly do or properly perform an instrument tie. Okay, so you're gonna be using your, your instrument, primarily your needle driver, to tie a knot at the end of suturing. So I have other videos posted about how to uh, do certain suturing techniques. This video, I'm going to just quickly throw a simple interrupted suture so that uh, we can talk about how to tie it. Uh, but uh, for proper technique on throwing certain types of sutures, uh, feel free to check out my other videos. So I'm going to pull this through so that we've got just a little tail here on the end. Okay, so there you go. Now to do a proper instrument tie, have your tail, you know, roughly half inch to an inch. You don't want to have it too short, but you also don't want to have it too long. And then I'm going to set my pickup down. Now, some actually in the OR and the ER when I'm actually suturing, I'm going to have it, I'm just going to leave it in my hand while I'm doing this, but for the video, I'm going to set it down. So your needle driver should be to start this out in the middle of your two suture edges. Now, if I were to pull up on these, see that V? Okay, so I'm gonna keep my needle driver inside the V, parallel with the laceration. There's my laceration, okay? Now, with my left hand, I'm my left hand's the one that's going to be doing the majority of the work. So for your first pass, you should come around your needle driver two times, but notice how I went over the top. A big mistake is that people will come from this direction and then, and but you need to keep at the beginning of each pass, keep your needle driver in the middle so that you know that you're going to be creating square knots, okay? The whole goal of an, of a, uh, of tying sutures, whether you're doing it with your hand or with the instrument, is that the end result is a bunch of square knots on top of each other so that the suture does not come untied. So, needle driver in the middle, you're going to pass over the top of it, and for the first pass, we're gonna go over the top of it two times. That's gonna help uh, the tension uh, with this first tie. So then you're going to open your needle driver and grab the tail, and now don't move your, your needle driver, but go with your, your left hand, rather, and pull that off the end of the needle driver. And see, now I've got a good uh, double throw in my suture, and notice how my hands traded places. My my needle driver is now over here on the left, and my, my left hand has crossed over to the right so that I can pull that down snug onto the skin, just like that. I'm gonna let go with my needle driver, and now for our next pass, we need to again start in the middle. So my, my, uh, my needle driver needs to come back to the middle, again, parallel with the laceration, so that way I know that I'm gonna get a good square knot by going over the top. Again, common mistake is that people will come out here and do this and then grab, but if you really look closely, you did not throw a square knot, you threw a slip knot. So, start in the middle, come over the top, and just once for all subsequent throws. You only do a double on the first one, so then grab it, and because my hand is starting over on the left, I'm going to pull off the end of my needle driver and come over to the opposite side. Now I'm over on the this other side. I'm gonna pull that down, but not too tight that it bunches up my, my suture, but just enough that it's laying nice and snug, okay? And then I'm going to pull that off to the side of my laceration. So I'm going to hold now back to the middle for my next throw with the tail on this side, my left hand over here, I'm going to come over the top, grab, because I'm starting over here on the, the left, I know that my hand needs to go to the right, okay, and then back the other direction. Now how many times do you do it? My opinion is at least four to get a good, long, a good strong tie. Uh, lots of providers like to go to six. And either way, that's fine, but I, in my opinion, to get a good strong knot going to at least four is important, but I'm gonna keep going to continue to demonstrate. So again, in the middle, over the top, grab my tail, pull it over. See that, see the how you're going to be getting a square knot. Every time you pass over, you're gonna be getting a square knot. See that? And nice and tight. And then you're gonna cut your tails. Now, how long do you cut? So that, how long do you need to leave these? Well, there's no 
you know, law that says how long they need to be left. My opinion is you don't want them to be too short that if that top throw becomes a little loose, then your needle can, excuse me, your knot can come untied. So not too short, but if you go too long, then your tails will get in the way of your next suture that you'll be placing down the laceration. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Go ahead and practice. That's the instrument tie.